Hey everybody, it's Jeff from New York and here I am driving towards the port of Manhattan to get on the Norwegian getaway for my very first cruise and I'm going to take you guys along. This is a first video from this cruise and it's going to be kind of like a compilation video. I'm just going to show you a little bit of this and a little bit of that just to show you what's coming up as far as full length videos in the near future with regards to this particular cruise on the Norwegian getaway. In this introductory compilation video, you'll see clips of videos from the ship as well as excursions. Ready? Let's get started. Here I am at the Port of Manhattan getting ready to board the Norwegian getaway. And just like that, I'm aboard the getaway. Now I gotta find my room. Hey! everybody, it's Jeff from New York and I'm here on the Norwegian getaway in my studio cabin. It took me a little while to get here today, it's my first day of the voyage. I'm uh, going to give you a little tour, very little tour, it's not a very big cabin. And I'm going to show you the studio lounge too. The studio area that I'm in is basically a couple dozen rooms, uh, all meant for single passengers. Um, we all share that lounge. The whole area is kind of exclusive, you have to use your key to get into it, so it's pretty secure, pretty safe. Uh, to get into this studio area and uh, like I said once you're in there you have access to all these studio rooms as well as the studio lounge first thing I'm going to do is show you guys the studio lounge so I'm gonna go down the hallway and show you that first let's go so this is the uh, studio lounge it's shared by all the studio uh, rooms or studio cabins here on the ship it's two levels as you can see stairs going upstairs And uh, very nice. The only people who have uh, access to this are the studio passengers. You have your little wine station there, some wine glasses. And now I'm going to show you just a few clips of the many videos that I have coming with regards to the Norwegian getaway. It's a huge, beautiful ship, holds about 6,000 passengers and over 2,000 crew. It's got 18 decks, uh, pools, and lots of restaurants, and countless lounges and shops and things like that. It's really a beautiful ship. Of course, it'll be covered in detail in future videos. So, like I said, the waterfront's pretty large. It goes the entire circumference of the ship. A lot of restaurants spilling out onto the waterfront. We're gonna head inside shortly and I'll show you what it looks like on deck eight from the inside. And you'll see all of these restaurants uh, from the inside as well. This is Captain Morgan. He shows up in all cruise-related videos here on the New York channel. He shows up as a quick flash in the background, including this video. Be the first to spot him and leave a comment below with the timestamp where you spotted him, and you'll get a shout-out on an upcoming video. Good luck. And a shout-out to Deborah Camacho, who found Cabby in my Central Park No. 5 video, as well as Clarice in the Atlantic City shopping video in the Ocean Room Tour video. 
and Mitzi in the Shops at Crystals in Las Vegas video. And a shout out to Robert Camacho who found Cabby in the Central Park number 4 video. Congratulations Deborah and Robert. This is what the gym looks like. And again, while you're watching this, remember it's a compilation video, short clips of, there's just so much to see and talk about in upcoming videos here. So keep that in mind. This is just kind of like a summary. All in all, over 50 videos. That's right, 50 videos in 10 days. I was a busy guy. And that's not counting the few that I lost. That story coming up in another video. One of my first excursions was Kennedy Space Center in Port Canaveral. Launch control for the Apollo missions. This is not a mock-up. These are the very consoles we sat at when men first took off to fly to the moon. The tragedy of Apollo 1 had put us a year and a half behind. We were making up for it in one big leap. And we were doing it with a rocket that no man had ever flown before. You are now in the final minutes before the launch of Apollo 8, right here where it actually happened. While in Cocoa Beach, I stopped off at Ron John Surf Shop, the largest surf shop in the world here in Cocoa Beach, and had a little fun in the sunglasses aisle. These are kind of close to my logo. They remind me of Cabby. I should sue someone. There's no shortage of awesome entertainment on the ship.
My next excursion was Great Stirrup K, which is part of the Bahamas. It's a uh, private island owned by Norwegian Cruise Line, and uh, the ship is too big to get close to the shore, so we had to take smaller boats called tenders. Now, we call them smaller boats, but they hold like 150 people, so they're pretty big, but when you compare them to the ship, well, not so much. Coincidence, Cabana 3, my lucky number. Uh, the cool thing about these cabanas too is they come with a lot of stuff like floats and things, stuff that you normally have to rent, but uh, I'm sure you have to pay a pretty penny just to uh, get the cabana itself. There are a lot of uh, game and talent shows on board the Norwegian Getaway as well. Obviously, no shortage of food on a cruise ship. Hey, if you're enjoying this video, please hit that subscribe button and smash that thumbs up. It really does help the channel out.
So after we left Norwegian Cruise Line's private island of Great Sharp K in the Bahamas, we headed towards Nassau, Bahama because, well, Bermuda was having a hurricane and the captain decided, obviously, to avoid the hurricane, let's go to Nassau instead. So last minute change in my itinerary, I decided to visit Atlantis, a huge vacation spot here in Nassau. And then once I left Atlantis and its casinos and everything else it had to offer, I'd head over to the township of Nassau and check out all the shopping there. But before we do that, let's check out Atlantis, shall we? Before I got back on the uh, Norwegian getaway in the Bahamas, I decided to check out a downtown Nassau. So no doubt, the ship had its fair share of parties, including the Globe Party.
Now, because we diverted from Bermuda because of the hurricane, we spent a day in Miami as well. And, well, I'm pretty familiar with Miami, and I spent the day in South Beach. And one of the first things I decided to do was go along Ocean Drive, check out all those Art Deco hotels along Ocean Drive, then head over to Lincoln Road and check out the uh, cafes and stores in the uh, Lincoln Road Mall area. And then I decided to go back on Ocean Drive and check out all the cafes in front of those Art Deco hotels. Of course, on the Norwegian getaway, there's your fair share of gambling, and I did some bingo playing, I did some slot pulling, and I played some very unusual games, which you're going to see a couple of clips here, but I'll go into more detail in the videos coming up in the future. By the way, the Norwegian getaway has one of the largest casinos on the seas. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's uh, just a couple of clips here and there from the cruise that I've been on. Lots more to come in videos in detail here on the Norwegian Getaway. So stay tuned to the New York channel. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please like, comment, ask some questions, and most importantly, subscribe by clicking on the button on the left. You can visit all of my New York videos by clicking on the top right, or check out my videos on other favorite places to visit by clicking on the bottom right. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you around the city.